Good morning, everybody. And as you can see, I picked up a new game during the Steam Summer Sale. And it is Cold Waters, a game that I've been looking forward to for a while. And I finally decided, okay, enough is enough. Com I need a different game on the channel. Three, two, five. Designated Sierra One. And it's time to pick up Cold Waters and start Com making some videos. Sonar new contact bearing. Three, one, seven. Designated Sierra Two. So, um, real quick, Com I'll talk about what I'm doing here. Bearing. In Three, the game, zero, and then I'll talk seven, about designated Sierra, Cold Waters Three. a little bit. Okay, so, a couple things. Uh, this was the first time I successfully completed the single mission number five, which is called Beating the Odds, hence the title of the video. Now, when you first start in and uh, the game loads up, you should immediately go to Ultra Quiet, I think, um, which buys you some extra time to uh, fine tune down your sonar reads on the uh, your classifications on your surface or submerged contacts and that's what I'm doing right now using the mouse button and I find that it's much simpler since then to use the quote button and then the enter button to lock in your classification of the uh, contact that you've got the sonar contact So you can see here, I'm scrolling through. There we go. That looks pretty good. Let's Com lock that sonar. one in. Sierra two is and classified there's as the main target. Ship. That's the Kirov. That's the main target that we're after here. So presumably, these will be the surface escorts, which is in the mission briefing. It tells you it's going to be a surface surface ship uh, Kirov with a couple of escorts. So expecting to find a couple Make of surface one, escorts. Five, zero feet, die by. So you can see the. Uh, Water conditions, we've got a moderate duct with a moderate layer at 210 feet, so 200 feet is great because that's as deep as we can be to fire off the anti-ship harpoon missiles. And it also allows me to be just right by that surface layer so I can duck underneath Con it. Sonar, Sierra 3 is classified as escort. As soon as we fire off these two missiles. Now I should have loaded in a decoy as well to fire the decoy off from above the thermal layer and then duck below the thermal layer and change Call direction. Room. Two, two, ready. I didn't do that and it ends up being a good thing that I didn't as you'll see. So we've got to uh, finish the classification on the Sovremni escorting ship and you can hear an airplane overhead which I should have been a little more careful about. You want to listen for airplanes and helicopters in the background as well. So trying to classify surface contact number one up there. Getting close, narrowing it down, and that looked awfully good, but that's a submarine, and I thought, no, it shouldn't be a sub. In a real battle, or if I do a campaign, yes, oh, there we go, that looks pretty good, okay, it's an oodaloo. We're up at 200 feet depth, the missiles are loaded in, perfect. Let's get set up for a surface attack. So pick the tube that you want, press spacebar to set up your aiming point, and then right click to fire. Now I should have waited for a better firing solution on these guys for sure. Because as you can see down in the bottom left in the center column underneath S2 Kirov, my firing solution is only 41%. I should have waited much, much longer to get a much better solution on them. But I was still just early playing the game and hadn't learned some of the aspects of the game that are important. Two, three. Aye, sir. I did set up to reload a MOS, which is the submarine simulator, Aye, in tube four, but I, since I didn't do it early, my plan was to fire it off up on the surface, but they're reloading the missile tube that I fired first, because I didn't tell that one to reload with the MOS, so... Make depth there's... Five, five, zero feet, die by. There's almost no way that those surface ships will not have detected my torpedo launches from 200 feet below the water. So I decided to dive first and then get down there and wait for the... Trying to uh, reset come my on, course here. Left two, two, five, eight. Helm, I. And get a little bit better sonar picture with my toad sonar array and then uh, fire off my moss as soon as it's ready. So... With... Wire controlled torpedoes you can adjust the point at the waypoint at which you want them to either sail to or to go active and by continually adjusting the waypoint ahead of where you want them to go that you can actually steer the torpedoes without having them go active in search which is pretty neat. Now you can see the Oodaloy, I've got a much better firing solution on the Oodaloy now so I can see his direction and his course. 
And you can see the little Calm trail markers down. behind him. Steady There's course. an airplane that just flew over real close. Calm. And I'm Torpedo totally not paying two, attention four, to that ready. during the battle. Shoot two, four. I All right, it. the moss is ready. We're going to fire the moss up towards the north a bit. And then we're going to continue on our way more or less southwest at the moment. And depth we'll six, change zero, the depth zero, off eight, the moss nine, a little bit. And it's always a good idea to look at the depth of the ocean floor in the area that you're sailing in before you decide to go in uh, diving down too deep. And that is not my torpedo right there dropped directly above me. So I should have immediately floored it in my submarine. But I thought, oh, well, it, it, it doesn't see me and it's chasing after the moss which is actually what it's doing I accidentally perfectly On. Torpedo room. Tube four ready. decoyed that torpedo off of me with my moss that I fired far too late to be a distraction and make them chase after it as a false return I actually fired it at just the right time for that torpedo to drop in from the airplane and acquire it and go chasing off after it so now, if I had gone ultra quiet here, I probably would have been fine. But I hadn't really learned to use ultra quiet to my advantage yet, so. As soon as I crank my speed right here, that torpedo heard it and turned around and came back, and another torpedo is directly behind me that just got newly dropped in. So now I've got two torpedoes behind me, and I don't have the speed or maneuverability that I really need at the moment. The other thing I didn't do here, which I have learned since then, is to look behind and figure out where that torpedo is immediately. Now I'm trying to cause knuckles in the water, which I don't do successfully here in this first torpedo engagement, Gun, fire control. We've lost because I wasn't going fast enough yeah, and didn't have enough authority feet. on my rudders to Passing splash the water around feet. basically. But... I actually at, sort of pulled off the maneuver I was trying to do here, which was drop a drop a noisemaker and then pull up immediately while I still had momentum and go to ultra quiet and have the torpedo chase after the noisemaker down low because that's all it could hear. And it worked initially. Feet. Now what I should have done again is blast the speed, get up a little shallow and make some make some room between myself and those torpedoes so I had room to cause knuckles and get away from them and change my depth, but I let myself slow down a Main little bit. Four, two. And when I re-engage my propellers up here, one, five, the torpedo nine, that's back behind Mediterranean. me is going to lock on in a moment. And that's a problem because, again, I'm not looking at the right spot. He's coming right up at the camera, Main essentially. Four, two, five, so I'm trying nine, to... Maneuvering eye dive below and then pull up over them and I just didn't quite have the maneuverability that Plenty I wanted and it space. blows up right below my ship. So we've got some damage in the reactor room but we're not fatally damaged and we can still maneuver Passing 500 feet. and we've got some damage control Con, to do. Sonar lost contact. Sierra 1. Last bearing 3. 4. 3. Contact faded. Otherwise we Con, seem to be okay and somehow Sierra, three. Last bearing, three, zero, nine, contact faded. The torpedo behind me detonated on one of my noisemakers, which I am not entirely sure why that worked, but it did. So we've got another torpedo up there in the water going after my moss up there, and uh, we seem to be okay, so we're going to drop back up Make to the surface three, zero, zero. with another moss turns four, one, zero, knots. and eye. go up and take a look at what happened with the uh, surface contacts. Come left to two nine. On ballast system has been repaired. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra three bearing three zero nine. There's a surface look at our friend the Kirov. I clicked on him before I had a good read again, so you can't actually see what he looks like on the surface. You can see a son of boy has been dropped over my moss up there and a torpedo is chasing after it, so that's at least decoyed somebody off of me. Although I'm not sure, because everybody in the vicinity should have heard that torpedo explode underneath my keel and 
damage my uh, reactor room, but we're okay. So we're going to bring it up shallow again and reset for another harpoon attack and prepare to launch my moss up at shallow depth and then go deep again. On Sierra one bearing three, four, seven. Now one of the main reasons you want to wait to have a better solution is mostly the distance. As you can see, I re-picked up that contact on that Call bearing, torpedo room. Two, but he's two, obviously ready. not that close. So I need to wait and see until I get get a good solution on him again and I can pick up where he actually is. And we're just a bit below 200 feet still, so we can't fire off the harpoons yet. Now the Kirov seems to be running away. So I'm going to fire the harpoons after him, and then I'll save the torpedoes for his escorts. Because I can steer those from my own ship. And tube 2. Aye, sir. Con. Fire control. Unable to fire. Con. Fire control. Unable to fire. I'm not exactly sure why I couldn't Con. fire... Torpedo room. Tube 3 ready. That tube, except... It became obvious when I realized that it wasn't actually loaded yet. So I kind of wish there was a way you could tell if something was planned to be loaded and actually loaded. But maybe I'll figure that out when I play the game more. Shoot two, three. Aye, sir. At any rate, my moss is off after Shoot two, one. Aye, sir. I fire off the Sovremni torpedo and a Kirov torpedo. I'm going to drop myself back down and see if we can do a little bit Con of sonar lost contact. evading. Sierra, three. Last bearing, three, zero, three, contact breaking up. And we got the Sovremni with something, so thankfully I can still redirect the torpedo for tube number one and send him north against the Udaloy. Torpedo room, tube four ready. And now that our harpoon is finally loaded, we'll steer him off after the Kirov and then reload and get down deep. That first moss I fired off is doing some good work for me up there north. It's got two torpedoes attention right now. Con, torpedo room, tube two ready. There goes our friend the Sovremni, sinking by the stern. Got an airplane awfully close. Shoot tube two. So I'm gonna I fire heard. off the harpoon I've got left in tube two just so that I can get down below the surface here quite a bit further. I don't have a good firing solution on the Udaloy, but the nice thing about surface ships is that the harpoon should find them pretty easily. And with that airplane overhead, I can't wait too much longer to fire it off, so... Forty-three percent and sixty-three percent solutions. The Kirov I'm not too worried about, I've got two torpedoes that should be chasing after him. And fired a new torpedo up north at the Udaloy, which causes the wire on my previous tube to break because I can only have two wires out on this particular sub. On the Sturgeon class. Lost contact. Sierra, one. Last and bearing. then the Udaloy zero, zero, gets broken one. in half by contact what is most likely up. the missile Come that I fired two, up there. Two, six, two. Helm, I. Con, which means room. I can now two, redirect two, my ready. torpedoes. All after the Kirov. So that's what I'm doing as we Con get down sonar. here. Noisemaker bearing three, two, six. And those two earlier torpedoes that are, you can see the tracks on before I lost them seem like they're probably Con in close L. on our friend the Steady Kirov. Course. So I've got way more weapons in the water than I really need. 
And again, this is really early in my playing, so I'm a bit more patient with the uh, Con, weapons and five, zero, zero feet, dive by. and being patient with the uh, letting them run their distance out. Because I've definitely fired off way too many weapons here to uh, take care of these Con, guys. Torpedo room, tube four, ready. I've done the mission a few times before I finally succeeded, and I know six, the Kirov zero, generally zero feet, needs three good hits with Not any of your sonar. weapons Noise to really maker, sink it. Bearing. Three, three, zero. So you do need to hit him a couple times, but it's best to not fire everything all off at him all at once like I did here. The nice thing here is when I get a good solution on him, you'll actually be able to see the Kirov pretty well. have it. That's ship number three knocked out and going down. One very dangerous guided missile cruiser heading for the bottom. And a lot more torpedoes and a noise ma uh, moss heading his way, so unfortunately... I kind of wasted a lot of weapons there, but that's part of the learning experience. This was a fun battle to fight, and I should have more videos coming soon for you guys. I'm planning on probably initially having uh, Cold Waters be a weekend thing, maybe submarine Saturdays and submarine Sundays until we work it in a little more regularly. I'm hoping to get a campaign going. Uh, less than 50 feet below the keel. Oh yeah, my ship had some flooding in it, by the way, so as soon as I got that notification there, I had a... Uh, what do you mean, less than 50 feet below the keel? What are you talking about? I'm only at 550 feet, and there's 712 feet below the bottom of the ship. Yeah, it turns out my ship wasn't fully repaired yet, and uh, was having some damage because Gone of the fire flooding. Control. We've lost the wire. Also, apparently, we're in an awful Gone lot of... Fire control. We've lost the wire. So there's my ship just about hanging on the bottom there. <laughs> Sinking a little deep by the stern because of the flooding on board. So you can see the uh, damage control. There's an awful lot of flooding going Passing on there. 600 feet. And while I did not want to be as deep as I was, the ship. Die by. I ended up using the emergency blow to uh, bring myself back up to the surface so that I could leave the battle. Mostly because if the ship bottoms out on the ocean floor, you're very likely to lose the mission. So that was really the main reason was, uh, okay, let's counteract this flooding with an emergency blow. There shouldn't be any more surface contacts, although that airplane is still up there. And that's why I loaded up another, prepped Magic another moss to fire feet. just in case the uh, airplane came and fired any more torpedoes at me or dropped any more torpedoes on me. But we'll skip ahead and uh, you'll see that ultimately it really didn't matter. And there we are, finally breaking the surface. You can see our friend the IL-38 is uh, a lot closer than we would generally like. However, he, for some reason, just straight up ignored the surfacing submarine that he just overflew, and he never Come actually on, dropped any weapons on me. Three ready. So I thought for sure that was going to be that. We've got the flooding almost under control. As you can see, it's much better than it was and is mostly being pumped out here up at the surface. Now, since I used an emergency blow, we have to reload the compressed air tanks. 
but we're essentially mission complete here. The uh, IL-38 should have been attacking me here, but he doesn't, and I'm not entirely sure why. So, that was that, and um, all that happened for the rest of the time here was I sat up on the surface till the repairs were complete. On, torpedo room, tube one ready. He just kept flying around circling me, apparently waving. Too bad I can't fire any stingers off the roof of the sail. And there we have it. Not quite as many weapons remaining as there should have been, but otherwise, a successful mission. Thanks for watching everyone. Hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Hope everyone has a great rest of your day or your weekend, and let me know what you think of Cold Waters, and we'll see you next time.